Hi, our friends, it's me, Mrs. Mertz. We're gonna be drawing Bob the Builder today. Remember, you wanna draw in pencil, but I'm gonna be drawing in marker so that you can see it. So, to start with, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up here, and his head's gonna be here, his body's gonna be here, and his legs are down here. So, I'm gonna start right about up here in the upper part of this page, and I'm gonna draw a great big half circle like this. Please try not to be perfect. Then I'm going to draw a letter C here for ear. <laughs> Wait, that should be an E. Then I'm going to go straight across. I'm going to draw another letter C only backwards. Then put a little line here. And then Bob's got some hair back here, some hair back here. And then I'm going to draw a great big arching line right across the top like this. And then I'm going to draw another little arching line above it like that. And then I'm going to go in the middle and I'm going to draw a line kind of diagonal and another line kind of diagonal. And then I'm going to put Kind of a curvy line across the top. I don't want it to be straight. I want a little bit of curve. Okay, and you're right. This is his hat. Then I'm going to draw a little curvy line here and another little curvy line here. And now we have the helmet. You guys are doing fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get his face on. So, for his face, I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna draw a big old nose for Bob the Builder, just like that. It's almost like kind of a teardrop, but it doesn't, or maybe a letter U. Okay, then I'm gonna draw a little circle. Well, it's kind of more of an oval right here. And I'm gonna have a little part under here and I'm gonna leave a little bit of white. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do the same thing just like that, then fill in this bottom half, leaving a little white, and then Bob, he is so happy, he's got a good job, he's building stuff, he's gonna have a little smile, and then we're gonna drop down and come back up. There we go. Oh, Bob looks so good. All right, now we're gonna do the shirt right here. Okay, so for the shirt, we're gonna start here underneath the chin and we're going to go down across and back up and you'll notice that i kept it away from the hair it's like in more okay now it's time for a w w for collar wait that's a letter c well we're going to do it this way okay now we're going to draw a line down 
another line down. There's his little button up thing. We'll put a button here. And then Bob likes plaid. So we're gonna draw some lines going this way, some lines going this way. There we go. And then he's got plaid here. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna draw his suspenders. So, or his overalls. So, I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna come down, just past where this is right here, and then I'm gonna shoot out like that, okay? Then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna come across, come down, let's see, let's make this the same, and shoot out like that. All right, so these are, this is where his uh, suspender, his overalls are. All right, then we've got his, let's see, what should we do next? Let's draw, let's draw the top of these. So we're gonna come in and then come straight down. Probably about maybe a couple fingers widths. It's not super big, okay? And then over here, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna draw this, and then it's gonna come down like that, okay? You're doing great. All right, then, right here, we're gonna draw a line coming up, and that's the top of his arm. Then we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna draw a line up like that. That's right, that's the bottom of his arm. And then his shoulder comes out a little bit, and then it comes down and meets up with his elbow. And then this line right here comes down and like this part comes over it, okay? Now we're gonna come over here and let's see, let's make his elbows the same. So let's meet him up right about there and then we're gonna come, come down like that and then we're gonna start out here and we're gonna come down like that and then He's got this little Leatherman handyman tool, tool belt thing, and it's just a big oval, like so. And maybe it's got another little line inside of it, like so. And then it's got a little flap with a little hook there, a little flip. All right, and then, you guessed it, this is where we're gonna draw a little line coming up. And then he's got some fingers here that just come out. Out. and he's got his hand on his hips so you don't see all of his hands all right you guys are doing great all right so now we're gonna come straight down it's gonna line up with this right here and we're gonna draw his belt which is kind of a soft square so it, it's not a super sharp square and then we're gonna draw another square inside that square perfect then we're gonna draw a line coming back to his Leatherman boat holder. And then he's got this wrench thing right here. So we're gonna draw a rectangle and another rectangle. And then we're gonna draw a line coming up, a line coming across over like so, and then coming back and then back down. Then, and I have no idea what tool this is. And then we got coming in like that. And we got another line coming in. Kind of some little rectangles with some soft edges on them. Fantastic job, everybody. All right, now we've got another kind of Leatherman kind of container here for some tool Bob the Builder has. It's kind of like this one over here, only maybe a little bit smaller. And then we've got his belt line coming across. And we've got like, I think some screwdrivers or something here. So we're gonna draw kind of an oval. And then we're gonna draw a line down and around, back up. How about we put some little detailing lines? I'm thinking this is a screwdriver Bob the Builder has here. There we go. And then got another something right here, a little oval. Lines down, and coming back up, and I don't know what that is. And then how about if we, if 
put some little lines in here like it's bulging out of his belt. Okay, now we're ready for the other hand. So we're gonna draw a line up like so. And this time, Bob's got a line coming down and then his finger coming out like so. And then another line coming around because his fingers are overlapping just like that. Wow, this looks great. Okay, now we're gonna draw his pants. We're almost there. All right, so we're gonna put a line, maybe a couple finger widths under his belt like that. We're gonna just put a little dot there. Okay, that's gonna be where his legs meet up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out and then come back in like that. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Come out and then come back over like that. All right, then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna draw kind of a wiggly line. Please, please try not to be perfect. All right, just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Just a wiggly, wiggly kind of line. And then it starts heading back out like that. Nice. Now we're gonna put like a little, her, little curve, little hook on it, just like so. And then we're gonna draw a little droopy line like that, and a droopy line like that. We're almost there, you are doing great. And we're gonna put a little line here with a little like so. And we're gonna draw another line right here that's just gonna go straight. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna come out and down. And we're gonna bring that line back over here. And then we're gonna draw another line down, back over and back here. And there's the bottom of his boots. And we're gonna come over here that line up with the back and then we're gonna come over and you know what let's give this boot like a little wiggle 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 so he's got like the tread there we go and you know what I think I want to wiggle this line up a little bit too because he you know if his boots are are uh, not treaded on the bottom he's liable to fall okay that looks fantastic let's put a little bit of some little lines in there for where his pants are puckering. There we go. Oh, that's fantastic. Bob looks great. Okay, let's put a little line behind him so we know he's standing on some ground, not floating in the cloud. Uh-huh. And gosh, where would Bob be? Well, I think he'd be building something. So let's see. How about if we put, mm, I'm thinking, Maybe, hmm, I don't know. I'm thinking a crane. So we'll just draw a box and then we'll draw another box and then we'll draw a line coming up that goes behind his elbow like that. And then we'll, we'll draw another box up here and another box here, and another box here. And let's draw a diagonal line, and a diagonal line, and a straight line. And we'll draw a line coming back down. Then we can draw some little, little zigzags coming up here. a construction person so this is probably not accurate and then we'll draw a line coming across and a line coming across and a little zigzag through there and then we'll draw a line coming down and let's just put a big old ball there that 
And now Bob obviously is managing some type of construction thing. Yeah, I think that looks great. And then maybe we could put some buildings back here. rectangles you can draw rectangles just to kind of give it a sense of there's something back there all right that looks good hey if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up and remember subscribe to middle school art mania and be a maniac